Uh, hey everyone, it's Parker Bennett from Aligned Online, and uh, we're starting up our code side assistance call for Friday, February 24th. Um, I am uh, waiting. I know Marianne is going to join us, uh, and so I'm waiting to hear from her. I did find, I did, I was able to get online to make an update to uh, my website. On Great. Weebly. I mean, on, on, um, on, on, not Weebly, on, um, WordPress. That other one. WordPress. <laughs> <laughs> that other W one. There, you know, it's and, funny that they um, all decided like there's Wix and Weebly and WordPress and yeah, they're all. <clears throat> but yeah, yes, I mean, we're using on, WordPress. Right. Okay, so I was able to do that, but it would be helpful just to go through it to see because I'm going to be like, oh, I have a question about. Um, the speaking thing that I did on the 16th. Okay. It's no longer in the future. It is now in the past. But I would still like to have um, that as something that people can see that I did. Right. That makes sense. Um, do you want to hijack the screen or do you want to go have me look at your site and we'll do it on mine? Well, you can go ahead. All right, so let's take a look. We're going to go into the back of Marianne's uh, site and um, um, make some decisions about how we want to deal with. So, so the the issue here is that Marianne has a blog post uh, that she's you know mentioning an event that happens you know in the future, and now we have that um, post. And um, you know, my quick take on that, Marianne, is that. Uh, mm -hmm. The way we we set you up is if we go here to posts, mm -hmm. um, you can see that there's these categories. And the way mm -hmm. Marianne's site works is that uh, if she categorizes something as news, it shows up in a certain area on the home page, and you know it takes whatever the most recent post is that's categorized as news and puts it on the home page. So for instance, that's a good way for her to promote things like her next creative workshop is just the, you know, sort of ongoing news. Um, we could have called that, okay. you know, pro promo or something else. But uh, in this case, uh, this is a category of news. But still, when you go to her site and um, look at the blog, uh, you know, as events come and go, they still are in the blog. You know, in this sort of stream oh. of blog posts. So that people have a sense of, oh, you know, what's going on? So this hello world, we need to edit mm -hmm. that and get rid of, we need to get rid of that one. <laughs> so, okay. So, so let's, we're going to get rid, of, get that rid of that right now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Sounds right, like a plan. Right, right. Sorry. So we're just going to move that to trash right here. I went and edited it from the thing. You know, once you're in, once you're logged into WordPress, you have this uh, bar across the top that helps you, uh, you know, as you're moving along in your site, you know, edit a post or edit a page, you know, depending on where you're at. So I just, I just trashed that. So um, let's go back to the blog. Um, and now we've gotten rid of that, that uh, hello world one. So. Hello World is the default that comes with every WordPress install, so you want to make sure you do get rid of that uh, post uh, if you're... Unless you really want to say hello to the world. Well, you know, Hello World is a programmer's, uh, for, like it's a, it's a convention that programmers have in any language. You know, Hello World is the, the first thing that you have to be able to do in a language. It's basically print to the oh. screen the words Hello World. So it's the program right. say, saying uh, hello. Um, so anyway, uh, every day, so here we have uh, Next Creative Workshop, and it's up here in the top because uh, Marianne keeps changing this date and the date it gets, pu and the publishing date so that it stays, you know, as the most current of the news items. So this is, this is why it's stacked here up here on top. So your question was about um, what exactly? Speaking. The well, speaking. Um, right, because I... Uh, don't need to have it on the front page as up and coming, you know, that I will be right. speaking because it's already in the past now. Right. So what I would sure the best way to do that. Yeah. So here's the way what I would suggest. So what I would suggest is you always keep a record of 
the posts that you make. You know, it's part of the stream of things that you've created, and you can go back and say, "Hey, back this, back at this time." But remember that we set it up so that anything that's that has this featured category gets mm -hmm. pulled up onto the home page. So what I would do is I would say, "Let's go into here." Right, and we're not going to put this on the home page. We're going to leave this one, you know, alone, and we're going to we're going to edit, that edit the post, and we're going to change the category so that it's no longer featured. Right. Okay. So it still exists. Uh, it's still mm -hmm. you know in your stream as a blog post, but it's not going to be on your home page. So we update that. Okay. And then um, the upcoming workshop that I'm planning with Daniela, right. I would just, um, uh, does that go, that goes uh, as a post as well? And yeah, then so, that would be so an easy features. way to do this is, let's, let's, uh, let's, let's do this the easy way. So speaking February. So um, let's go back to all the posts. Okay. And because you're using a plugin called uh, Duplicate Post, you have an easy way to just copy, you know, ah. duplicate a post. So speaking at Sportsman Lodge, you know, that's got your picture already in there. Uh, it's, right. you know, what you could do is just duplicate this, or you know, here's a workshop that you, you know, had right. uh, did in Long Beach. So whatever one is sort of close enough to what you did, and you could just swap in a different piece of artwork or another ah. picture. Uh, go ahead and just hit clone, right? Huh? So every day is a beginning. That's featured. Uh, this is uh -huh. news. It's fine to keep it as news because it's not the most recent news, so it doesn't show up on the home page. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, as you go along, what you might consider, like, you'll get into a better habit around this. So what you'll, what, for example, let's quick edit this. So this is... Um, what you might do is decide, you know what, let's have a category that's about, uh, you know, you know, you have appearances. So I guess that could go in there. But um, maybe, you, maybe you want a workshop category. Mm -hmm. Right. And actually, this mm -hmm. is no, this, uh, this, this is a workshop we um, see how this little dash draft is. Right. So this, this actually isn't in your stream anymore. We pulled it out of the, right. the blog. And the way you do that, it, yeah, the way, you know, like, well, maybe we don't want to have, you know, speaking at Sportsman's Lob show up in the blog, right? So the way you, if you decide, if you want to just not have it in the blog at all, rather than delete it, what you could do is use this quick edit to change the status to draft. Ah. So that pulls it out of the blog, but it's still available to you as a, like, oh, you know what? You know, these things are nice to have as a thing that we might want to duplicate. Right. It's it's really up to you. You have to decide, you know, is my blog is it useful in my blog to have these little, you know, announcements of speaking thing engagements just so people have an, a sense of, you know, that I'm as they're scrolling down the blog um you know that that you're getting out there and that you know that that right. you you know, it's and it might plant the idea in someone's mind, you know, oh gosh, you know, Marianne's great at getting out and speaking. I should book her, you know, and mm -hmm. get her in here to speak to my people. So um, but right now we just pulled it out. So it, when you, you know, if you wanted it to be in, you know, back here to quick edit, change to, to published. Okay. Um, and if you, uh, these are the categories. So let's go back over here to posts and right under here on the left, you can see these categories. And as you go along, um, you know, you have a way to, um, you can either add them here. So why don't we go ahead and, um, create a new category that's uh, workshops mm -hmm. or workshops, plural. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we'll add that as a category, and then that's available to you when you're creating these um, new posts. Um, the other way you can add categories is when you're, you know, when you're in a post. Mm -hmm. On the right hand side, that category list. So here I mm -hmm. scroll down. Where is it? Your categories. You can just add oh. it right right from here. 
So I, the, that, if I, if I go down below the lost part, a uh, workshop shows up right here under the kit. Yeah. Okay. Then I could I just add that. Yeah. Now I'm not sure why I said that. Now I have to go look because I said workshops. I'm pretty sure I said plural. So let me double check that. No, you didn't. I didn't know. Oh, see, you didn't, you didn't correct no. me right when I was there. All right. Edit. Well, you, you were, you were talking. I'm always talking. And maybe you did. It. <laughs> so. um, All right, so that's corrected. All right, so let's do this. Uh, this Dan so tell me about Danielle's event, the thing you're going to do with Danielle. Well, I have a landing page for it already. Great. Um, we're we're nailing down the date. Of, uh, we were supposed to do it on the fourth, and there's too many conflicts with her community. And the people that she that are interested in coming would not be able to come. So uh, we we're probably going to do it on March 26th. Although the landing page has to be changed because I had it all set for the fourth. Um, trying to sum from moth to living fully is the, what. We're all right. So why don't why don't we open a new tab and just quickly check in on lead pages and take a look at the language and stuff that you use there and we can you know we might be able to copy some of that over and make a new blog post for that does that make sense okay okay all right so let's um let me get this out of the way so we'll log in here and uh, i think you're still here Oh no! I just this new uh, this drives me nuts. Uh, they're they're being very helpful. If you you know if you're just you, it auto logs you back in. But if you're trying to help a bunch of people, <laughs> it oh. it logs it logs me into the last person I was trying to help. Um, so here, mm. let's do this again. Sign in. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's take a quick look at uh, from lost to living fully. There it is. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to edit that. So I'm assuming you took one of the previous uh, landing pages and, wow, look at you. How about Mary that? Ann, this is awesome. Whoa. Great job. Perfect. I really enjoyed meeting Daniela at Play Big. She was, uh, she's great. Mm -hmm. She's going to work with Melissa. Oh, good. Um, great. Okay, so um, Danielle is going to be using her five rhythm dance um, ex uh, workshop that she does, and so we're both going to do our workshops that we would normally do to explore grief, and then we're going to. It's going to be like an entire afternoon and then have have time to sit around and discuss afterwards. Um, so I'm going to just copy a few things here, um, but, you know, you, you would be doing this. <laughs> so I'm just going to. Right. Um, I have a, I have a, like a clipboard thing that copies, you know, that allows me to copy things and hang on to them. That's really helpful wow. if you're, um, I'm sure they make one for Windows too, but it just, so I can come in here and just mm -hmm. grab a bunch of things, you know, like these headlines and stuff. And then we've got them. So then we have this location. I'm just going to grab all this stuff. But the date's going to change. Right. So, and do you know, do you have any idea? It's probably going to be on the 26th. Okay. Which is a Sunday. Um, I think it's going to be from noon to six or something like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab um, uh, Daniela's picture and just so we have that in case we wanna add that. Okay. And grab this. So, okay. All right, and uh, just a quick, uh, quickly, um, mention so you changed the background picture behind this so we're here um uh -huh. we can look at this uh rain.jpg uh-huh and um in order for this white type to show up legibly 
there's like a, a little bit of an overlay here. So there's a I wasn't basic, sure how to do that. So. A black overlay here. So if you don't have the overlay, you can't read the type. Right. Um, so you're trying to find what you're trying to do is find enough of an of an overlay that you know it's it's allowing you to read the type, but not so much that it looks really like really dark yeah. and threatening rain. Right. So tacky. So a couple of things we could do here. So for example, let's, if we left it here about maybe 35%, mm -hmm. we can also go in here and take a color and, you know, do a little more, we could, you know, make it a little more, uh, you, know, uh, you know, you could play around here so that it's not, not so dark and threatening. So a little more like I'm putting a little blue yeah. in here. So that's just another idea. Okay. You know, you might have to go a little darker. So if yeah, you know, it's getting hard to read the words. Right. The lighter. Right. So, so this is a color picker, and as you go, it goes from, you know, uh, from unsaturated to saturated, and from light to dark. So, at, the more saturated okay. you make it, the more it it pulls that color into the, you know, but but the dark, you know, like mm -hmm. you want basically you want to get down here to dark and saturated. So you, so it's dark enough to read, but gives you a little bit more than just black. So that's a little, little blue. And now look at that versus, um, you know, black. Whoops. Yep. <laughs> no. It doesn't work at all. Yeah, that, you're right. That would not be, pure black is not good. So, um, oh, I didn't copy that. That was dumb. Can I go back? Yeah, I can. So I think, you know, something like maybe a little with a little blue in it would help that be a little more friendly. But you, you know, you can play around with that. Maybe it's green, a little blue green. What do you think, Mar what do you think, Marianne? Well, uh, I liked the way it was the first time. The black? To be honest. Yeah. Don't worry. Or the, what I had what, before you started messing around, around. <laughs> before you started blame, uh, blowing it. Here we go. I think you're about yeah. there. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, you know what we can do because we didn't really change anything. Uh, we just don't update. <laughs> so it'll be exactly the way you oh. had it. Okay. All right. So uh, now we're going to go back to our posts and um, you remember that I've copied a bunch of you know information here. Mm -hmm. And we can just pick one of these things to, you know, use as the basis of a new post about that upcoming event. So um, I think uh, go to the embracing transition one. Yeah. Okay, great. So now we're going to clone this. And we're going to edit it. So the first thing that that you want to look at is uh, the title. So what's the new the new? From loss to living fully. Okay. Do you want the whole thing exploring the alchemy of grief? Uh, yeah. Why not? Sure. That was that was. Uh... Um, in general. Um, it's a really good idea to get words that are keywords into your title. So the word grief is something someone might search for. So that's a, wow. it's a, it's an idea. It's a good idea in general, just to have, uh, you know, loss and grief and those kinds of words show up in a title. Um, and in this, you know, um, so this one is, um, and where's this workshop? North Hollywood. Okay. No hope. And it's uh, March? March 26th, probably. We'll just say March. Do you see that cat? I do. Is that not your cat? <laughs> it is our cat. He wants to go out front. Okay. He stands by the door and meows until someone uh, takes him outside. Because there's obviously another cat out there that he wants to. Mess with. So um, just to, 
these these uh, this is a slug. So this is a, a you know this is something you can give people as a link to send them to this to this blog post, which has information about the event, right? So for example, mm -hmm. and because of that, you might want to just find a way that the simplest words that people could that you'll remember and people will remember. You know, so March workshop workshop could be if you're going to do more than one workshop, then you might need to have you know a little more information. So right. that's just you know you want to find the simplest thing that you can hand someone and say, oh well, ah. you, for more information. But you have a landing page, which is really where you want to send people. So don't that's not this is not as important for you um, okay. right now. So you know what you'll be doing is saying, oh you know. Um, when you have that landing page ready to go, you're going to add it into the menu of your website so that people can get to that landing page right from this website. Right. right. Um, so this is join us, and we don't know. Do we know that we're thinking March? 28th. It's a Sunday. I mean, 26th. 26th. Six. So that's Sunday? Mm-hmm. All right. So we have... Um, we have a little more information here, so uh, it's um, join us for a workshop uh, designed to help you explore and release. I'm sorry. Yeah, that was one of the the copy things. Explore and release the feelings. Got it. Trapped in the bottom. Okay, so let's get this. Designed to help you explore and release the feel the feelings stuck in your body, uh, so you can reconnect with your life. And then um, this is the information that we're going to have. You know, again, the title, and you you know you can come back in here and and do all you know change all this, but I just. I just thought, let's get this done quickly. Do you have a graphic that goes along with this? Uh, it's just the, the photo that's in the background of the lead page. Okay. Is that what you mean? Yeah. That rain, that rain one. Uh, I don't have a good, well, when you don't have a good way to get it out of there, you can still do it. Um, so from lost to living fully, uh, I'm just going to, let's preview this. So we're going to view the page, mm -hmm. and I'm just going to look at the source of the page here. And mm -hmm. um, so there's a background image that's right here, and I'm just grabbing this URL. You're tricky. I am tricky. And I'm going to go here and I'm going to put it in to grab that image right there. Um, now, I still find this, I don't know, uh, it's going to be, a, this is a little small. Um, it, in general, Marianne, if you're doing something as a giant background image, you're going to want to have you're going to want to have uh, a little lot more pixels to work with. Okay. All right. So, so if you can find the larger image of this, I'm sort of artificially creating pixels here in Photoshop. Um, okay. Just to get to a little bigger. It was something, I'm not sure if it's a picture that Daniela took or if she found somewhere, but it was something that um, she had found and sent to me. And um, rather than, waste a lot of time. I figured I would check to see how it looked on the lead page. That makes sense. <laughs> um, so the other and thing is, I this looks like something, of, uh, whoops. The sort of, the sort of um, blurry, blurrier quality. That actually helps you because of it's a, of the background. Yeah. yeah, because it's a background. Yeah. That makes sense. All right, well, I'm not going to fuss too much with this. You know, you, you might choose, um, I'm futzing a little bit. It just feels a, still a little bit oppressive to me, so I'm trying to just give it a little light, little light quality to it. Um, and then I'm saving it back out. 
um, we want when, people to feel. You want feel that so feeling? They have to come in. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is if you're on a Macintosh, um, I do recommend you download this program called Image Optim, which is just a quick way to to strip a few more pics, you know, a little more um, compression. It it strips some information out and, and compresses things a little more um, uh -huh. to make them even a little bit smaller and. Uh, um, you know, so you want your pages to load as fast as possible. So, so actually what I usually find is that people go the wrong way. Like you've actually done this, you know, this is actually a good size image right. for what you're doing, not for a giant background image, but for like a little picture in a blog post. It's great. Uh, mm -hmm. often people will put a huge, you know, 4,000 pixel image and they'll, you know, have that in their blog post. And it of course takes three seconds to download and kind of gets annoying so um, if you have if okay. you have a tool you know within WordPress itself you have the ability to um, crop and resize things in the media tab so that's something we might look at at another time um, anyway so we're gonna uh, dr drop out of lead pages here we're, we're gonna get back to our post we're gonna change this picture so we're gonna um, we're gonna replace it here and we're gonna mm -hmm. upload that picture that we just grabbed. Okay. Now, if I want to add things to the to the images to to this part, because I have I I have some images from my last speaking engagement. Oh, great. Um, yeah. All you do here. Let me just uh, go ahead and replace that really quickly. Um, we're, we are going to, um, we do oh, have yeah. sort of a hard stop on these because I'm, um, yeah. I'm not paying the extra money right now for the pro yeah. account. Although it shouldn't be doing that um, since it's just you and me on the call, it should be unlimited. But, um, but you know, maybe you're still on with, as that other phone call. So that's the reason. Like if oh, you were just, that. oh, you did? All right. Oh. Um, so basically here in, in WordPress, if you go to media, uh, wait. Let's hang on, we have to stay. Um, save draft, we're not publishing yet. Um, you, you go here to media and you say, you know, add new. Uh, and, okay. and then you just drag them right into here. Okay. And that's a really good idea because then they're available to you, you know, to create a blog right. post, you know, and have pictures to go with it about, you know, how you appeared. Um, so mm -hmm. let's see, uh, we're back um, to this post. Um, we have this giant image here. Not sure how this wound up way over here. So I'm going to make this scale down. Uh, explore this feeling, so you can reconnect to your life. Um, and then, um, you know, I'll be joined by, and because this is on your blog, you know, it's everyone knows you're, it's you. Right. So, um, you know, this is where you can say um, mm -hmm. information about Daniela. Uh, and you can decide how much you want to include from her bio, right? So, you might, you know, say, um, you know, she uh, she specializes in, you know, uh, she's also she's a, you know, you can decide what if this is important. She is okay. a certified focusing body oriented therapy practitioner has extensive experience. That's enough. So you don't want too much, right? Um, and I'm not going to get, I'm not going to go too far down the weeds on this because you should, I want you to be able to do this. So yeah. I want you, right. you to I come in here and change all of these details in North Hollywood. Uh, click here for more information. And this is your, um, lead landing page, page your lead page, right? So you got to find the URL yeah. for that lead page and put that in there. Right. So, okay. um, I, it's in my history, so I'm gonna just go over here and uh, grab it from Lost to Living Fully. Uh, 
publish options, lost value fully. No, it's great. Okay. So I'm just going to grab this URL. Come on. This is really annoying. Well, I'm going to just open this page and grab it from the top here because it's really annoying to try to get it from there. Yeah, I've had that problem too. Slash. And then um, I recommend on all of these land, uh, lead page links to go here to link mm -hmm. options and open, ch check this box to open the link in a new tab. Yeah, so, I so they, that too. Yeah, they stick on your page. It opens the information in a new tab and then they're not, you know, you don't lose them if they want to, if you need them to come back. Right. Yeah. So I'm just going to, again, save the draft. You're going to come in here and edit and publish. Right. And what, what right. you want to do is you have to decide, is this the news that you want to, because if you check this as news, it will replace the, you know, next creative workshop. So maybe well, you don't want to have that. that you workshop want... is done. So ha I would have it as featured. And then when the other workshop is done, then this throw one this one up as news. news. Yeah. Right. Uh huh. And um, you know, let's click this one that we just created called workshops. Perfect. And that's probably a separate category than appearances like that. They're two different things, right? So when you're going and speaking mm -hmm. somewhere, that's different than when you're working one on one, you know, working with people in a workshop setting. Right. Right. Do you have any other questions? We're going to wrap it up. Uh, other... This is quite a bit. Thank you, Parker. And now I'm, I'm to get the hang of, um, all of this. <laughs> You're doing fantastic. I mean that the that you 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 duplicated the lead the landing page in lead pages and mm -hmm. made all those changes. That looked great. And uh, yeah, it's just a you know a habit thing. You just got to keep keep at it. Yep. So, Thank you. You're welcome. Good job. All right. Well, I'm here on Fridays, so um, please join me. And uh, if you have any questions, and um, uh, if you're interested in learning more about, know. yeah, <laughs> uh, anybody who's <laughs> looking at this on YouTube, uh, visit alignedonline.com to learn more about what we're doing and, uh, come get, uh, get a hold of me for a free 15 minute, uh, consultation, uh, we call it an online alignment and, uh, get on my calendar and, uh, thank you, Marianne. We'll talk to, talk to you soon. Thank you, Parker. Take care. Bye-bye.